Sagittarius. What is going on, my dears? It's, it's She-Ra. It's, it's Mira. It's, it's Vera. It's a Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April. 2020, show me the money season. Yes, God. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. Shout out to all my OGs and shout out to all my newbies. Everybody who has shown love and has clicked this video. All right. So, as you can see, I got the runes out today. I was guided to uh, pull the runes out for you guys i was going to do like um a runic message like a pre-shuffle before i pulled out the tarot but it was like do it on camera so we're going to do this here um if there's anyone that would like to um book a personal private reading only thing you need to do is click on the about tab and you can um, reach out to me on instagram my pricing list is right there oh i want to give a big shout out to every single body that has um like donated or sent any type of love or support to the channel we got some new decks here that i want to um mention that you guys have sent over one of which has like stopped they stopped printing it. So, like, I was lucky to get one of these decks before they stopped printing it. So, this is the Circle of Life Tarot deck. Thank you guys so much for everyone who sends love and support to Scorpion Red Tarot through the Amazon wish list. You guys are freaking amazing. I got one of the last one of these decks, and I'm so thankful and grateful for that. Um, today, we're going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck, um, which was also sent to us through the Amazon wish list. And this is new. So, this is the um, Star Sea Oracle deck that was sent here as well. So, um... One more. We're going to be using the Archetypes uh, Oracle deck, which is very new as well. But y'all might have seen me use it in other videos. So, again, thank you guys so much for all of the... Oh, the runes were sent. <laughs> My baby Callie sent me the runes. So, thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. And just, like, pushing me um, to extend my knowledge. Um... So that I can be able to communicate with y'all more efficiently and give y'all more direct messages and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much. And if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me for a reading, again, the best way to reach out to me is on Instagram through Messenger. If you don't have Instagram, you can um, use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can send me a message through Google Hangouts. It's an easy, free app to download. The only thing we need to exchange is our email. And again, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Number one, I want to give thanks to the creator i want to like really really just like give him thanks and, and and recognize him for just standing before us and just like hugging us and holding us and keeping us steady and just keeping us focused and just keeping us protecting and, and letting us know and everything that we do that we're covered you know what i'm saying so i just want to acknowledge him so father god thank you so much for um being there for all of us, thank you so much for covering the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much as we're going through these times where, you know, we're going through seclusion. Um, however, we are around everything that we love, everything that we appreciate, everything that we're grateful for. So even though like this seclusion and this social distance thing, which I'm getting tired of that freaking word, is... Um, it might be driving some people crazy. I really don't think it's driving Sagittarius crazy. Nope. Exactly. You know, we are very, very comfortable. Uh, we're very supportive right now. Um, we're getting all the support that we need and willing to support to others. It's just like um, being in that place of love and just happiness and peace and harmony. And that's where we are at and that's where we're going to stay at. Amen. So, Father God, give us guidance for my Sagittarius's for the month of April 2020. Show me the money season. Thank you so much for all of the guidance in the past, present, and future. Continue to cover us. Continue to, you know, guide us along our path. Amen. Amen. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, so 
we got this and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these alphabets because I don't want to sound stupid <laughs> I think this is Ella this means direction travel partnership movement trust loyalty um, joint effort it takes to change for the better teamwork harmony you know so like I said um, we're in a place at this current time where we feel support and we're being supportive um, and it really is a teamwork effort and, and to me this means family this means like everyone putting their hand in the pot to make the dish <laughs> real and like it's gravy like you know what I'm saying? it's gravy baby you know how people say it's gravy it's like everybody putting their they little spice or something into this gravy pot to make it just like balanced and make it like whole and hearty so that everyone can enjoy the dish you know what i'm saying i feel like you're getting a lot of inspiration i feel like you're getting a lot of hope um and like i said you are trusting uh the people that are in this element that are in this space with you and um you are traveling like you are traveling a far distance right now i feel like it's going to have to take teamwork and you can't do it by yourself um you really can't do it by yourself right now it really is going to take teamwork and a joint effort and for you to let people in in that way so that you can find that balance and that harmony do you understand this is change for the better it, it takes two trust loyalty direction movement you know what i'm saying so if there is any type of stagnancy that's going on in your life you need to show forward movement do you understand so and the reverse this means power struggles it means lost time it means inactivity no teamwork you know um power struggles you know it means hinder hinder a hindrance so it takes teamwork you have to let people in and like Enjoy that family. Enjoy that love. Enjoy that harmony. So what is this here? This. This is, I think you say, it's, it's like Faye, Faye, Faye or something like that. No, it's this one. This means aid. This means aid, growth, solutions, communication, signs, inspiration, enthusiasm, speech, true vision, powerful words, success. And I think it's pronounced as, child, I ain't even going to try to pronounce it. I think it's Ansus. Ansus. So, it's the same movement. Family trusting others letting people in taking teamwork it takes to peace harmony and this means aid communication trusting your signs like i said you get an inspiration from others you allow other people to speak you allow other people to put their own seasoning in the pot to make it better because it's like you might come from this side and this might what y'all use and this person might come from another country and they might use this one but the seasoning together it it's a taste that it's totally better you know what i'm saying like it's yeah most definitely in the reverse this means ego this in the reverse like this this means ego irrational blocks missed opportunity disregard so that means like not being open to people's communication and what they have to offer you not taking aid um you know not really paying attention to the signs and again that meant hinder you know what i'm saying not you know teamwork you, you meaning that you need to accept teamwork and then it takes two and things like that so this in the reverse means lost time remember no direction lost time power struggles this right here meant egos and missed opportunities and blockage and you know what i'm saying so there's a big message right here about you guys needing to accept a lending hands and forward direction meaning that you're you're going it's going to take more than just you and don't allow your ego to get in the way take the aid take the help you know this one 
I think it's like Othella or something. This means lands, possessions, source of safety, um, licenses, past and present, increase in abundance. Um, what is truly important? Inheritance. So this has to do with, I feel like this has to do with like some type of, I feel like, and this looks like a fish to me. So I don't know, I feel like not a birthright, but not a birthright, but this says in the reverse, it means a loss. Yeah, a loss of property, financial hardship, a denial of inheritance. I was about to say like a loss of birthright. It's like almost not accepting truly the mission that is your spiritual path at this moment and allowing some type of blockage and hindrance um, because someone's not accepting teamwork. That's what this is meaning in the reverse. But going forward, this means like taking back possession of land, ownership, like your inheritance, like a source of safety, like, you know, increase of abundance. You understand what is truly important, why you need to forward, why you need to accept this help, why you need to not let your ego be in the way. And it takes teamwork and uh, communicating, understanding the signs, like understanding the true what all of this means, what everything is, is, is for, you know what I'm saying? What everything is, what this is all about, what is truly important. Land, safety, possession. It's like you're going to have to accept help from like your family or something you're gonna to have to accept help and learning or going through some transition in order to get some type of inheritance or property back or something it's like you're going to have to accept help allow people to help you what is this 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 means fe femininity deep bonds regeneration of power nurturing Birth and futility, renewal, a promise of new beginnings. It means the spring, clarity, healing. In the reverse, again, this means ego, blocked energy, discord, family drama, not being kind, like impeding the process. So, again, there's a big 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 sign here about ego and not being in the way of this process it's like your birthright is where you're supposed to go it's like allow people to help you it's something about um i feel like a level of power struggle and anger and feeling like you don't want people i don't know if it's in your business you don't want to accept help from other people where it's not allowing it's 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 getting in the way and what this is telling you is like you can have all of the sets in the world but allow people to help you and please do not let your ego get in the way of anything do you understand be beautiful be kind you know what i'm saying that's what this means right here when this came out it was like this it means be beautiful be kind Accept that feminine help, like that mothering help, you know what I'm saying? Like accepting help from your mother, you know, a renewal and a promise of a new beginning. Something that's about to happen in the springtime, clarity, healing, you know, deep bonds. So like deepening bonds with your mother, with your family, allowing them to help, you understand? Allowing them to aid you, allowing your time to like with them for you to see growth and to get like, y'all understand what I'm saying. Allow them to help you. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. For April. Thank you. 
We got it. Yeah, the two of swords. Being indecisive, still not being able to see something. Um, it's like maybe taking the assistance and listen to what other people got to say so that you can see things clearly. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people are trying to hurt you when they tell you the things that they're saying. It's like for something something that you're not seeing and you, st and you still have a resistance to see and you're not taking the blindfold off. And I think people are truly just trying to help you. So like maybe you should put your swords down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And allow the aid, allow the help, and just listen to what people have to say. It can maybe help you um, not be so cross and, and, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Like, there was a loss of land. There was a loss of um, possibly even a divorce, a breakdown in, in, in a family unit, um, even fa family communication. Like, things just might not be working right now, and there could be a big financial loss. Um... I feel like it's someone not really seeing maybe the part that they played in the destruction of this family. I feel like there was, there could have been power struggles with ego. And when it comes to partnership, you know, and true happiness in a home, it takes two. It really does take two for everything to finally come together and blend and to work together like everyone has to listen everyone it has to be balanced you know what i'm saying it has to be um self-expression and creativity amongst all the parts like i said allowing you know someone to come in the kitchen and add their little spice and shit you know what i'm saying and see, see see if you like it you might fucking like it you know what i'm saying like it was something about like some type of ego control and power struggle that broke down this family unit you know what i'm saying where it doesn't even exist anymore and right now people could be going through some type of i mean i feel financial struggles on both ends you know because it takes two i feel like they needed each other but at the same time it's still some type of level of stubbornness where someone has their swords up in defense and i feel like might be blocking out some level of communication and still not able to kind of see maybe how their ego and resistance to listen to other people and to see you know what i'm saying where it probably caused an issue with this and it does take two and even right now as it stands please make sure that listen to i feel like you need to listen to your mother you need to listen to your mother the um page of wands so you in a place where it's like i understand now um getting crown chakra in this new existence you feel brand new you feel like you got a brand new start in light um just learn how to resist the temptation of the ego and allow things to grow. And it's like you see how she's sitting up there looking at the wands. It's like learning how to use her passions um, wisely now and not allowing ego and, you know, yes, self-preservations and we know you could do it by yourself and sometimes people do feel like if i need something done right i just need to do it by myself these people ain't really gonna help me but how do you know like you know accept help accept help you know what i'm saying and see how things grow this time that's all i'm saying you know what i'm saying like because you can easily burn yourself out as well so this is learning how to do things a different way how to use your passions a different way and it seems like things are growing a little bit quicker now that this person is learning how to accept help this person is the page so that's like they're like feeling like a kid again almost you know what i'm saying like i'm having to learn everything from the ground up we build everything from the ground up and I see it growing a little bit quicker, you know, now that I'm accepting help and I'm learning how to engage passionately and there be some type of balance and there's cooperation, there's communication. Um, that's what that card means. It's like new communication and listening and watching and like very focused on it. Um, it says the emperor in the reverse and then the king of cups. So you guys could be dealing with... Um, 
Okay. So you guys could be dealing with a situation where you feel like there wasn't any cooperation and there isn't any cooperation from someone that's either a fire sign that could possibly be an Aries or a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is like the male energy here. Um, it seems here to be some type of, like I'm saying, power struggles because you got someone that even though they're not doing the things that they should be doing to kind of wear this emperor's kind of, it, it's like this this person is trying to play the emperor like they big tough and bad and they run everything and they do everything but they really don't because the emperor in the reverse is someone that lacks responsibility that is kind of lazy that um kind of runs and hides when shit gets tough and things like that but at the same time it's like he wants people to respect his emotions it's like i'm grown i'm you know like that's kind of what i'm getting here that's what I'm getting. It's like someone that lacks responsibility but wants all the respect in the world or wants people to deal with them with integrity and listen to them, you know, <laughs> four of wands. Okay. So the four of wands, this could be who you had a divorce with. I don't know with this page of wands being here. I don't know if you're trying to go trying to start things over with this emperor it, you, you already know how it's going to you already know how it's going to end I don't see anything getting off the ground like it's something about this person even though emotionally they may seem a little bit more mature but not really they're not still taking responsibility for things and being a stand-up guy being a leader being a you know a master of his trade this is someone that doesn't want to work this is someone that wants no no what is this the ten of cups in reverse like you already know how it's going to end up again it's going to end up in emotional disaster you're not going to be comfortable with the magician in the reverse so this is someone that might could be using their Knowing how to emotionally manipulate someone to end up having them, you know, carry all the burden by their self while they're sitting up there like King Tut. You know what I'm saying? I want you to listen to me and how I feel and, you know, you know, you're not respecting me as the man, but you're not doing anything as the man. It seems like this woman is carrying everything by herself. And this person knowing how to, with that King of Cups, how to use their emotional uh manipulation to suss this out like I don't I don't like this I don't like this Who, whoever this I don't like that like I don't like that so let's see what's going on with you baby girl because uh uh it's 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 something like I don't know why is it that she doesn't see and that's maybe where the ego came from I get it, but allow other people to help you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's not everybody else's fault. It's like, especially if there's some type of anger and resentment in regards to this person, who's whoever this King of Cups is, or this Aries, whoever this is, has some type of, they got some type of, like, hypnotizing control over this person where they don't see they don't see, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you need to start from the beginning. You need to, like, feeling like you really need to cut that out and allow other people to help you. Yeah, the lover's card. And then the, t okay, so, listen. So, you need to start all over and and see that in order for you to really obtain true love, it's like you got to stop looking at the past you have to realize that that phase is over you really 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 have to stop thinking about that have to stop internalizing it stop going over it like even if you try to okay walk back into this you're gonna go through this again and then you're gonna have to go through this phase of having to love yourself again and stop looking back in order for you to have messages of a new beginning and new love you understand so it's like don't Love yourself enough 
to don't walk into that anymore and realize like listen I want true love that shit is over I don't want to see that no more. I don't want to talk about that no more. I don't want to hear about that no more. I don't care about that no more. I'm going into new beginnings. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I'm bringing her down here because we're not walking into that. We're walking into self-love and not going into something where we're going to... And look, the star is at the bottom. So, it's like you're the star. It's like, so, go forward in faith. Go forward in faith and continue to fill yourself up spiritually. Listen, otherwise, you're going to continue to be in a situation with this five of pentacles where you're going to continue to be left out in the cold here. Listen, leave. This five of pentacles right here, this, it's like some type of sickness. You know what I'm saying? Where someone has some type of spell on you or they have hypnotized you in a way where you don't even see how you're only hurting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is going to continue to let you carry the burden. This is never going to be a happy home. This is never going to be a successful union. It's some type of control that you need to release. You need to cut that. that you need to cut the cord. And even when people are telling you stuff that you don't. I feel like it's something about when people are telling this person about this. It's like they don't see they don't see it and they don't want to hear it and they throw their swords up and they want to get defensive and stuff because they don't want to hear what motherfuckers got to say. And it's like if you want to continue to keep walking into that, it's your ego. That's that ego that they were talking about. And they said, listen, this means loss of time, power struggles, inactivity in regards to what is really important. You know, hindering. Your true success. Keep walking into something because it's like your ego is telling you to keep fighting for this. Like to try to make this person do something. Or do, like you praying and hoping and wishing on a star and stuff like that. That this person is going to be something other than what they're showing you. What this person is showing you is you continuously being out in the cold. You being shut out. You having to do everything by yourself. Financial struggles. Even emotional sickness and physical sickness too. You know what I'm saying? So like don't allow yourself to do that. Walk away. Leave all of that stuff behind. Don't fall victim to the illusion. Feel that gravitational pull of your body and your soul and your mind and your heart telling you I deserve better. I don't want that. I don't want to continue. Listen, the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, being in control of your emotions, no matter what anybody else says, no matter what anybody else promises you, knowing good and goddamn well, I emotionally know every time I deal with this person, what they make me feel like. So, let's go here let's give this young lady here some guidance you know what I'm hearing um it's it's like on the whiz it some song on the whiz but it'd be like what what do I do what what do I do was it like the crows or something singing that shit? I don't know. But I know that shit is like on the wigs. Let me see. What is this it called? It says soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. It, again, this is basically telling me that you are being called to truly see this situation for what it is right here. To so put down your sword, stop being so defensive, and take this blinds off and really see this so that you can clearly make a decision forward. Get up from this being, in, you know, you're not moving. 
get up from this instability. Like I said, this five of pentacles, this is being shut out. This is sickness. This is illness. This is not having any money. This is uh, all your savings is, you know, this is being homeless. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever the situation that dealing with this environment, well, whoever this was, but you felt like you had to carry all this burden on your own. And remember, they said something about loss of properties, loss of inheritance, loss of a birthright. You know what I'm saying? So it's time for you to get back to this. You are being called to use your soul gifts right now. This was you going and training, baby. It's time for you to walk through this door. It's time for you to step up. It's time for us to start a new day. It's time for us to not continue to fight for something because your ego is being bothered because... It's like, I'm going to, you know, make this person be responsible. This person ain't going to do shit. You understand? And you got to understand that. It's you that got to change. It's not them. It's you. It's time for you to step up. You're being called. You know? Let's get down here with the star. The lovers. And that ten of swords getting up off of that floor. Stop looking at that phone. Now we ain't, did, we ain't doing that shit no more. Page of cards. We're walking into our new beginning with that star energy. Listen, it says... Star brother, Horus, and but this came out in the reverse. Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. All right. So I feel like in regard, I feel like you've just been looking in the wrong place. I feel like you have a connection with your little brother or some type of male influence in your life. I feel like you need to kind of listen to the words and remember which one of these things that said um powerful words. This. Listen to, like I said, accept help. Listen, accept the help and aid from your brother. I feel like that's, for some reason you're not listening to something that your little brother or someone that you consider as like a little brother is trying to tell you about this person. I feel like this person, this little brother, might have seen this shit a long time ago, but it's something that you refuse to see. And it's like you lost your family, you lost your home, you lost your foundation. All behind you not really being able to take that shit off and make a decision and make a choice that could have, like, you know, I feel like you were getting solid advice and information from someone that really protected you and loved you. And regardless if they're younger than you or whatever, like your brother or whoever this soul brother is right here, this person was really, you know, like trying to protect you. And this boy is really spiritually gifted. And I feel like you really need to start listening to him, you know, and he is a star born. I feel like so are you, but you're not using your energy and some, you know, you have to use it. You have, listen, you see this, you see this. Mm -mm. Whatever happened in the past, it, you've had far too many experiences with that situation to know that it's over and there's no more room. There's no more room. <laughs> It's overkill. Do you see how many times this person has stabbed you in the back and has hurt you? There's literally no more room for this person to put another sword in your back. So stop reliving it. That's what this is saying. Take it up. Listen, you ain't that hurt. You still sitting up there on the phone. Take the swords out of your back. Allow your friends to help you heal. Stop looking back at that shit. Stop thinking at that shit. Even if... Your brother is telling you some shit that you don't want. Listen, because it's something about when people are telling you the truth, it, you, 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 you get defensive and you, you cover your eyes and your ears and you, and you put your swords up. You can't do that. That is why this happened. Because someone refused to listen to ego. They were being defensive. Listen to your brother. Your brother know what he talking about. Even if he younger, he still no man. Listen to your brother. He is truly a star. And you know it. He know what he talking about. He's taking that gift that he learned in that spiritual world. And he's trying to pour it into you. You know what I'm saying? So, it's time for you to accept that love. It's time for you to accept that energy. It's time for you to accept that nutrients. 
that abundance. It's time for you to start wishing. It's time for you to start praying. It's time for you to start opening up and allowing all of this love. It's time to really be more receptive. That's why we appear with that. You know what I'm saying? It's time to see why this happened. Why there was a loss of inheritance. Why there was a loss of home or foundation. Let's give her advice. It's just for us. And it's ten of pentacles. Lifting the veil. Exactly. Like I said, take the veil off. Lifting the veil. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Lifting the veil. Anything unaligned must go. It's time for you to see that. Anything unaligned like this shit, it's listen, you're called to be to, to, to see that. Anything that caused this, anything that you felt was a blockage that's getting in the way, because you want your inheritance back, you want your home back, you want your happiness back, you want your security back. That's something that you work for, that's something that you earned. That is something that because of you having to carry this burden and do everything by yourself with no help from this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? It's like you, you, you lost, listen, you lost it all. Homelessness. 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 Financial burden, financial stricken. Uh-uh. You were being called to see that. It's time for you to lift the veil. Anything unaligned must go. If you're going to do the struggle alone, you're going to get the success alone. Not by having somebody there that don't want to do what the fuck he's supposed to do. But yet wants to credit for it and wants to... No, we're not doing that. Page of problems. Give me guidance for her. All paths lead to home. So you guys might have moved back home to be around your brother, to be around your mother, to be around your father, to be around your sister. So that, you know, your the, the grandkids can be there and just, just receive that love, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. And it's something that I feel like something about your, something your brother might have told you about this. It, it's something that your brother told you. I feel like might have upset you. But this little nigga know what the fuck he talking about. Listen to him. It says inner authority, intuition. Turn your gauge within. All paths lead to home. It's not about that person changing. It's your being called to realize. You needed to change. You needed to put down that struggle. You need to put down that burden. I know it feels like if I just like try this or just do this, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can almost get there. It seems like we'd be almost there. No, you don't. That can be a mental sickness. Keep trying something that you know continuously leads to failure, but, can, you know, thinking that there's going to be a different result. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's manipulation. you not to see this it's like no mm -mm. don't trust that don't trust that don't trust that leave leave that type of thinking leave that type of burden carrying leave that that's something that you need to leave in the past any anything that reminds you of this emperor in a reverse that could be a cancer pisces a scorpio or aries Again, a loss of home, a divorce. Or it was just something that was someone didn't ever want to take responsibility and didn't want to marry you, didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, like, I'm not going to keep this lack mentality and shit. Like, I'm just this. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, let's see. Okay. It says look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Look inside yourself. Lifting the veil. Look inside yourself. 
I feel like it had, that has something to do with that ego, that ego and that power struggle that you've been going through and you've been resisting and see that that has been kind of like, um, it says look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So I feel like this is your true soulmate energy here. It's something about you guys resisting and not able to see possibly what you did in a relationship which caused the demise of this what you put up with and what they were you know what I'm saying the type of person that you were allowing and why it was breaking down if you look deep within the person that is truly calling to your soul that's truly meant to be there in your life like they wouldn't do this to you. And I think that you know that. You understand what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't put you through that. The vessel. You got to protect your vessel. You know what I'm saying? And it's something about like. Experiencing love relationships. And producing kids with with people. That are not responsible. That You know what I'm saying? Because this is someone that could have had kids with someone like this. And it's like honoring your vessel. And not like. Don't keep giving yourself to, to people that don't want to take responsibility, especially if they're not trying to marry you and you feel like you're constantly shut out in the cold and you have to carry everything. You need to protect your vessel from people like that. Look, the tears in the reverse. We're not crying anymore. We're not doing that. Listen, the underworld. We're not crying anymore about shit that is beneath you. You are the gem, but you need to crawl out of the underworld. So that you could shine. Do you understand? It's like. This is someone that had everything in the world. Or that. that I feel like they have accomplished a lot in their life. But because they. Were given a lot to the wrong person. Everything slipped away. And they could have created enemies. With people that's trying to help them. Because they didn't want to listen. And truly see that. This person that you're laying with, this person that you're breeding with, this person that you're trying to have, this relationship, this successful union, it's not amounting to that. So, like, don't waste everything. Don't lose everything. Keep walking into a promise of, of someone who ain't promising you nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? So, with that underworld there, it's like... It's like... Why I feel like while the woman is there is the 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 queen of um, cups is because having to batter that inner emotion and like really doing what you know is better for you emotionally and for your children. Like the queen of cups is like a mother. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's a nurturer. She's a provider. She's a protector. A, a protector. Like that's what this says. Like the divine feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? Deep bonds. Deep emotional bonds. Do you understand? Regenerating of power. N nurturing. Birth. F uh, uh, um, fertility. Like that's the queen of cups. You see what I'm saying? So you are a very fertile person. And you can create a lot, but you need to cleanse. You know what I'm saying? You need to stop crying. I feel like you need to cleanse your environment. You know what I'm saying? And you need to go all path needs home. It might be time for you to go home. So we can shine that gem off. So that you can shine like the star that you are. And listen to this. Listen to your brother. Listen to your brother. One more spread and we're up out of here. What is this? This is the Knight of Cups. So even though it might have took you a long time to get moving, and it might be a path that you slowly, you know, recovering from and that you're moving on, it looks like spirit is coming to you and aiding you and watering your back to just make sure that you have all of the resources that you need along the way. So again, this is representing aid. That's, that's like fast communications of love and just aid and protection to me and it seems like that's by like your your spirit guides your family people that love you people that care about you they see that it's taking you a long time to recover or to get to where it is that you're going but it's like they're still aiding you listen the nine of pentacles 
you get in there successfully on your own and look there again they go them turtles it's just taking you a long time but you are creating your own visionary of art in the middle there i forget what that's called but it's like where they be making these little um paintings and stuff or these like pictures out of like sand or something i forget what they're called but like that's what she's doing that's what she's doing you're a very unique creature and it just takes patience the three of cups here it's you really had to walk away from uh third, this is a third party situation that was like emotionally unfulfilling this is the Knight of Wands in a reverse, too. You know what I'm saying? So, something that was in and out, something that wasn't lasting. What is this? The Eight of Wands. So, the Eight of Wands. Do you see how she severed the head of some man? And you see how she got her sword? She <laughs> severed the head of some man. And she's, like, walking into this forest of vast bounty in communication. So, to me, that's like... You having to like cut communication off with somebody. Swords mean communication. Wands means action forward, like fast move. You know what I'm saying? So to me, what this is representing is like you are being aided along the way. Um, there's a lot of love coming to you. A lot of love being expressed to you by people that truly love you. I feel like your spirit tone of animal right now is the turtle. And truly understanding that because you still have your own protective shell. Even if you do feel at harm and someone's bothering you, you can just curl up and go into your shell. You have your own form of protection. Do you understand? Even if you, I don't know why you don't realize the protection that you have around. Like you can easily suffer communication with anybody that you don't want to talk to so that you can continuously, fastly move forward and get what you want. This means things coming to you fast as soon as you sever something she didn't say look she didn't cut she didn't cut somebody's damn head off someone here it seems like knight of wands someone that's in and out three of cups if you were dealing with a third party relationship someone that was juggling you and other people in and out not committal only in there while the getting is good don't allow people to be around you while you got money and and why things is good so be careful of that because with this knight of pentacles right here this is representing now that you are getting to where you're going slowly and you're getting your finances and things together, here come this motherfucker that ain't been around trying to come in and out. I sever that communication so that you could um, continue to go forward in life and love. Do you understand? I want you to experience the life and love and the luxury that God and just everything has to offer to you. But you truly got to sever that. You truly got to sever that. Let me get some guidance in the future and we out sorrow reunion pleasure seeker so again so I feel like you can avoid this sorrow again you can avoid this sorrow by realizing that this reunion that you're trying to manifest in your life is with a pleasure seeker. Ain't nothing changed with this person. Nothing. So if you want to avoid the sorrow, be careful what you're asking for and who you're trying to reunite with. Because you've seen that Three of Cups. You've seen that Knight of Wands. You see the, you see the pleasure seeker card. You see the three. So be careful. And avoid sorrow. Avoid sorrow. And pray for better tomorrows. You know what I'm saying? It's time to work towards that birth right. And stop getting in the way. And get back everything that we. That we own. Everything that we lost. Everything that we desire. Everything that we aspire to. We're not going to continue to do this. We're not, we're not walking into this. You see what I'm saying? Because of ego. You know what I'm saying? ego only only keep fighting for something that mm -mm. it's it's not like I'm gonna make you love me I'm gonna make you do right I'm gonna make you take care of this family I'm gonna keep giving you a chance to show you like that 
it's it's mm -mm. anyway i gotta go i love y'all peace